Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. In this module, we will learn how to write a nested for loop. A nested for loop is a for loop inside another for loop. So we will see an example where we might need to use a, a nested for loop and let's get started. Right? Let's take a requirement like this. Let me open notepad. Let's assume that we have a requirement like this. Now, so what is our requirement is read a number from user and print below pattern. Now if the user enters 3 I want to print like this and if the user enters 4 I want to print 4 rows so like 1, 2, 3, 4. So depending on user input I want to print number of rows in this pattern so that's the requirement. Now to understand this, uh, to, uh, to understand how to write code for this, let's try to understand, uh, let's try to do this first. So the first what we'll try is, if the user enters 3, we'll print 1, 2, 3. If the user enters 4, we'll print 1, 2, 3, 4. So first we'll try to print this based on user input and then we'll try to print this pattern. So let's get started. Now let me open code blocks and empty file and this is lecture 14 so I'll save it and as usual I'll write here 14 dot print pattern nested for loop so I'm just giving a file name just to illustrate what we are doing now I'll write here include stdivo.h and include conivo.h void main. Now what we'll do is we will read a number so int n will read the number from the user printf enter any number and then we'll write scanf scanf percentile d or you can ask here number of rows to be printed or you can just ask enter any number right so percentile d comma ampersand n. Now what we'll do is so we'll read the number from the user and once we read the number, so we need to write a for loop because the, f the requirement now we need to consider is you just need to print this. So now you need to loop four times and print the star. So now you'll write like this for, so we'll declare another variable i for loop, for loop we'll declare another variable. For i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to n i plus plus and I'll write here so let's write here printf star and after printing star you want to go to next line so printf slash n so you can give the slash n in the same line but um, but let's use this for a single row so we'll print the star and we'll go to the next line so this will solve the purpose of printing see here now first time let's assume that we enter here 3 so the loop will continue from 1 for i equal to 1, i less than or equal to 3, print star, next line, print star, next line, print star, and next line. Let's run, let's run the code and let's see how it works. So let's build it, let's save it, and build the code. And you can see there are no errors and no warnings, and let's run the code. So now I'm, I'm entering here number 4, and you can see here it's printing 4 stars. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's working. So basically it's writing uh, one, um, it's printing star, next line. And again, I value becomes two, a star, three, four. And when I value becomes five, condition is failing. So now, now what we need to do is we need to understand this properly so that we can complete. Now first time I value is one. So it's printing here. Second time I value is two. So we need to make use of the I value to print that many stars in this case. So what we'll do now is, we will take this i value first time i value is 1 so here we have to print 1 star second time i value is 2 here we have to print 2 stars because now we are trying to understand the second uh, our actual requirement this one now third time i value is 3 we have to print here 3 stars so what we can do here is we can declare another variable j and we make use of this i value so first time i value is 1 so 1 to i second time i value is uh, 2 so 1 to i means 2 times so what we'll do here is instead of this single print f 
so i'll write here for j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to i j plus plus now here i'll write here printf star space now why we are doing this so see here now first time i value is 1 from j equal to 1 to 1 so it will print only one star and then it will go to the next line then i value becomes 2 again 1 to 2 it will print 2 stars it will go to the next line i value becomes 3 it will print 3 stars it will go to the next line i value becomes 4 it will print 4 stars and it will go to the next line so this exactly is what we need right so now what we'll do is let's try to understand this so let's run the code and let's see how this is an example for a nested for loop now let's see this if it works now let's save the code let's save it and let's build it now we are not seeing the option to build because the output is already there so we need to close it the previous output we need to close it otherwise you'll not see the build option so let's build the code now you can see there are no errors it's still building the code and yeah you can see no errors now let's run the code now if, now let's see it's still um, it's still waiting for the user input yeah you can see here enter in number let's enter 4 so you can see here it's printing the pattern properly so now let's enter number uh, number 20 or let's say this let's run the code now I'll enter number 20 so you can see here it's printing the pattern properly so this is an example for nested for loop a for loop inside another for loop so we are making use of this i value and we are looping through that many times to print the stars so the first for loop is used to print number of rows and the second for loop is used to print each row the stars in each row so this is a classic example for a nested for loop so I hope you are very clear with how to uh, write a nested for loop and how to print this pattern uh, using a nested for loop right so as usual so in case if you want this code sample that I have used it so what you can do is let me upload it in the github so go to this and uh, and let's upload files and let me select the file select the file that I have typed just now so print pattern and now you can see here the code file is getting uploaded and click on commit changes now how you can get this file is very simple so all you have to do is so this is a URL and let me copy this and let me open the browser see here I just opened a browser and just pasted this uh, URL HTTPS uh, you can see the URL here HTTP uh, s colon slash slash github dot com slash magnan slash three now in case if you want to download the file um, all you can do is just scroll down a little bit uh, here you can see uh, this is example 14 so uh, let me click on this and you can see the code here you just need to copy this that's it and you can use it for your program so in this module we learned how to use a nested for loop and let's see what's the plan for next module so in the next module we will be learning jump statements and break continue and go to Thank you and see you in the next module.